everyone, I'm Crystal Baller and I'm going to show you how to play Hand in My Pocket by Alanis Morissette in five minutes. Let's do this. The first chord you're going to learn is a G chord. So you're going to take your middle finger up, people, and you're going to put it right here on the third fret of the thickest string. And then you're going to take your pointer finger and put it on the next string down on the second fret. These little boxes are called frets. So one, two, three, middle finger on the third fret of the thickest string, and one, two, first finger on the second fret of the second string down. When you strum that, you're gonna strum the top five. Next chord, you're gonna take your middle finger and you're going to scoot it down one. And it's still at the top of the chord, um, so keep that in mind for F, your middle finger's up too. Makes sense, right? Then put your ring finger on the third fret of the next string down, and then put your pointer finger on the next string down on the second fret. So you've got your middle and your ring fingers crammed into the same fret on these two different strings here, and then the string behind it, you've got your pointer finger there on the second fret. And on all these chords, make sure you're on your fingertips, not on the flat part of your finger, because you want your chord to sound like this, and not this. So if you're getting a thumpy sound, push down harder and get more on your fingertips. The next chord that we're going to learn is a C chord. You're gonna take your middle finger, and you're not gonna do shit. <laughs> you're gonna lift up your ring finger, and you're gonna scoot your pointer finger up one, boop, like that. So it's actually the same shape as the G. Your middle finger's up on all these chords, and then you're gonna strum the same three strings you just did. So this one, this one, that one. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So we're playing a modified F, which is this one. Oh, I gotta scoot that finger back. Mm. Okay. Then we're playing that C modified, which is just a shorter version of a bigger C chord. Still sounds beautiful. And then our G chord. Now we're trying to talk about strumming. So you're going to first off hold your pick in the first crease of your finger here, and it's gonna like a loose fist like that. Do not hold it like this, people. Don't do it. It'll flatter your hand every five seconds if you hold your pick like a pencil. So if you do that, I need you to stop, reevaluate your life choices, okay? Hold it like a girl power fist, raw, in the air. And then we're gonna strum here, okay? For this one, we're gonna do, it's all down strums. So we're gonna find our G and just go here. down down on like the top two strings here down down and then I do the full five um strings down 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 I'm broke but I'm happy I'm poor but I'm kind I'm short but I'm did like 80% of the song friend because that's like the whole thing then the chorus comes in and it's like you go to your F so I'm gonna transition from there but time's almost up. Okay, if you need to, rewind it. Flip it and reverse it. Get in there. You got this, friends. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Please watch my other videos. 
on my plugged in classes or just check out my YouTube channel for more free content. Um, but the plugged in classes are where it's at because I go into a lot more detail on how to strum, how to play solos, how to practice chord changes, how to practice um, different rhythms and really just I teach you how to practice is the big piece of the online classes and you'll learn some kick ass girl power songs along the way. So thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you around again. Bye.